More than a week after much of Joplin is blown off the map, the need in that area is still very great. Now two local donors are offering both help and hope. Pam Elliott explains how your generous gifts are making a difference. Yeah, it's really cool to be a part of this, and we, we threw this together real quickly. I got a call last week from the director of Shoes for the Shoeless, Chris Horlocker, uh, saying that they had a truck available uh, to pick some relief supplies up for Joplin. And so we just got an announcement out real quick at church, and uh, Shoes for the Shoeless got out through their network, and, and we ended up collecting enough materials to send Joplin to uh, load just about two full semis. The materials include bottled water, tarps, tents, duct tape, and 100,000 meals that won't go bad. They'll be taken to two distribution sites on opposite ends of Joplin. It was challenging being a, a Memorial Day weekend, holiday weekend. We just thought, ah, people aren't going to respond, but boy, they really came out and, and showed their generosity. Marisa Stock witnessed the generosity much like Jerry Idle did. It filled her SUV with cat litter dog beds, and pet food. When I talk to the Joplin Humane Society, they have taken hundreds of animals who have gotten lost, um, who have been abandoned, who can't find their homes, and they are just struggling right now. Convoy of Hope will travel about 640 miles to the tornado-ravaged community. It's an effort that connects a lot of people. What I hope is that they just know that we care about what happened to them there in Dayton and we want to help and we can't put ourselves in their shoes and we can't do much, but we can do what we can. And though we might not be walking in their shoes, they might be walking in ours. Chris Horlocker says people throughout the Dayton area donated 700 pairs of new shoes. Yeah. See Dayton, you do know how to deliver hope. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side. And the Red Cross is continuing to accept donations to help people in Joplin. You can donate a cash gift online at redcross.org. You'll find the link on our webpage by clicking on the On Air tab for web links. Still